Dan Chaos, we are building the Deadpool Wolverine moped and mini bike. We're going to start with the moped and then we're going to work on the mini bike. Let's get into it. Let's do a burnout. Let's do a burnout. All them 49 cc's. All right, let's do it. Alrighty, so right now Richie is disassembling the plastics that we're going to be putting on this because we destroyed this out at Busco Beach. We totally destroyed the side panel, this back's shattered. This is the only surviving panel I think. Oh, no, nope, I'm wrong. It's cracked. But actually, everything else is pretty good. Scratches, but they're actually not bad. Yeah, we can sand that down, but we got new plastics for this. I've had the plastics, just never really cared enough to do anything with it. I just drive this little beater of a moped. I might do an oil change on it because this stuff's probably gross. But anyway, he's working on that, stripping it down. We're going to paint it, sand it down, all that good stuff. We're going to probably be doing red and black on this. Because this is a two tone scooter. All the pictures and stuff I found online for Deadpool, it's all red, but I don't want to just do all red. So we're going to probably do what we discussed like black on the center and red on the outside, right? Or was it vice versa? Yeah, other way. Okay. Reverse whatever he said. Exactly. <laughs> this panel I am having troubles finding. I don't know. I should have it. But that was years ago I bought that. Shit, that was like... I want to say three or about three years ago I bought this moped. Oh. Yay. It's been out in the rain. Yeah, it's a little moist. <laughs> so, uh, honestly... I don't know which one's nicer. Probably throw this one on there. Oh yeah, this one's cracked right here for the license plate mount, which I don't need a license plate. It's 49cc. Exactly. I'm probably going to do a oil change, just tune it up. And I would like to get all-terrain tires, so I already have a tire for the rear. I just need to get one for the front, which I'll order on the Amazon. How difficult is this? Full bolts. Ooh. Four screws, not bad. Not bad. And do what Jason doesn't do, guys. Put the screws yeah, in back. We just have a magnet tray. Magnet tray. We're being pretty legit right now. Now he's fighting this quarter. Oh, you got oh, and there's no bolt in there. Motherfucker. That's funny. Ooh. Yeah, it's the uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month cool. from Matco. I like it. That's actually cool. We haven't really shown off our new toolbox. We got Matco wrenches. Look at them bad boys. We got Matco shorty sockets in here. Yeah. Yeah, those are the Really nice. Yeah, hey, 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 those aren't yours. Those are not yours. Put them back. They did not go to the job. These are for the house only. You know, I could have used this boroscope a few times at the job. It was kind of nice. You realize you can always come over. Yeah, but I don't want to waste time. Mine. I don't like I that one. It's too phone. blurry. Mine's way more clear. Yeah. It's got like, it's because it's actually made for that. It's cheap and you use it at work. All right, so back to this. Getting sidetracked. Too much shiny. All right, so we got what? What size is that? Maybe like a... We're going to do what I do all the time. I want to say it's a 10. Match up. This one has got something down there, too. 10? No, it's 11. Is it really? No. It's a 10. Oh, is it a 10? Oh, okay. <laughs> Not cool, man. Right. I didn't want to say you were right. Hey, I am right most of the time. <laughs> Okay, not really. I do want to take this cup holder off because it's kind of a waste. This I installed this one. I like it. It holds bottles. I need to put a phone holder. 
We are gonna have to customize the seat. I do know that. Cause that old seat is ratty. It's been crumbling for years. My old stickers are falling off. Just do it. Puma sticker, got Mario, SpongeBob, Batman. Route 66. It's on my bucket list to drive Route 66. Hey, quiet down, I'm talking to you. Got the Supernatural tag. Mando. Oh, sorry, I turned this down. Last of Us. Screws. Firefly tag. Chaos Customs. Chaos Customs. Yeah, those guys, man. They can't build shit. They're slack on their videos, too. Yeah. Bunch of slackers, man. They don't fucking work all the time anymore. I know, right? But they're working, earning money instead of recording videos that. There's nobody's buying merch. <laughs> Uh, hopefully this will start making us a little bit of money. Oh my god, look how dirty that poor engine is. We might pull it out there and pressure wash it while it's stripped down. You saying we're not going to do that? We're going to skip that step? Good possibility. Why? Because I've had the battery just sitting in the storage compartment for the longest time. Instead of actually putting it in its spot. Mm -hmm. This battery is quite fancy. It's actually got the voltage right there. Let me check your voltage. This is 11.9, which... Fires this little thing up, no problem. That's an eight. All right, what we got going on here? Well, that one's fucked. How fucked? Like, so fucked it can't be unfucked, or yeah. just fucked? Unfuckable. Oh, uh, it's unfuckable. You're gonna need to yeah. drill. You're gonna need to drill, drill it hard. Real hard? Real hard. Shit. All right, what about this? What's what? Well, I was no. able to cut. What is going on here? Do you see this? Do you see what I see? There's a. Like a drywall screw holding this bolt in, or screw in. That I've never seen anything quite that redneckery. Well, the other side had this holding on it. It's like because I don't think they knew to get the little clips. Yeah, so it needs new clips. Yeah. Or we could just figure something else out. I might just go back to the drywall shit. Nobody yeah, see. <laughs> yeah. It's like I guess you don't see it, but it's just I've never seen anything like that. Some real redneck ingenuity. <clears throat> My bad. <laughs> redneck ingenuity. Do the lights still work? I haven't I, disconnected them, but they should. I've never, I'm, I honestly don't know if they still work. Oh, God. Yeah. Is that a brake light? I think that's a brake light. Yeah. Yeah, so there's a brake light. Turn signals. Shit. They work. The brake light kind of sucks, one. but. Yeah, front one's do. Hot damn. Headlight. Like... The headlight should always be on. Nope. Huh? Hmm? I need a new headlight. Bummer. <laughs> All right, let's not do that inside the garage. <laughs> All right, turn that off. Okay, so the lights work. Hooked up to it, switch it out there, and it's on plug, plug. On that plug, makes plug. sense. I'll probably drag it out there, pressure wash it, clean it up. See, there's the ECM on this thing. It's a lot of tech for something so tiny. With all them wires, I wouldn't do that. What? <laughs> There's a little fuse box. No, there's a bug on there. What is this? Up. Coolant. Well, oh, that's good. It's a little low. I'm gonna put some in there. Apparently not too low because it's still running fine. I didn't know you could check it there. I've been checking it down here at the radiator, which is probably fine to do it that way, but. It's fine. It still runs great. I've never had issues. Middle drool. Aha. Top black drool. Drill. You smell that? I smell food. I think it's breakfast time. Let's go. All right. Okay, before we drill this out, we're gonna try to fix our unfuckable screw. It's a macro screwdriver. I'll see if the name would actually help. tool for the right job. There's a part number. 
Yeah, that works. Hell oh, yeah. One less thing we have to fight or drill out. On to the next. I'm gonna go start sanding down the plastics and get it ready to paint. Twenty-two, sweet. Do now get the ugga dugga. That needs clean. We need to take this cover off. There's like a bunch of dirt and grime in there. Will that do it? I don't think it's gonna do it. You need a big boy. That was maxed out. You need the big one. Fine, I'll go get the big one. Okay, so we got the one, two bolts, they're 10 millimeters, holding the actual exhaust onto the engine. And then you have two mounts that stabilize it, one there and one there, those are 12 millimeter. And then you have a, what was that, 21? 22. 22, 22 mil that holds the well on. Boom. You need the big ugga dugga to take it off. Big ugga dugga helps. And the brakes don't look the best, but we're gonna worry about that later. It stops enough. It stops. I might see if I can get some cheap ones locally. Slap on there. Let's see. I'll call a couple more bed chops. All right, let's go ahead and get the tire changed. Doo -dee, doo -dee, doo -doo -doo, got the tire bead popper. Pop. And that's how you pop it loose. Boom. I don't think it's gonna fit. So we're gonna do it by hand. Alrighty. I've never changed it. Tire on a moped before. 
some bigger stuff. He's gonna stick in there. Fix this one up though. I go inside. Uh, oh, there's no boy. It's a piece of shit, but it's a box knife. Yeah, I don't know if this category is a box knife. It cuts open boxes, so it's a box knife.
Okay, it's been almost a week since we've worked on this. I, the tires came in, I already mounted it and put it on. It was actually really easy to do. So now we've got a tubed tire in all terrain. It's all badass now. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna redo that video. Okay, we are back. It's been almost a week since we worked on this. So my tires came in, I already got them mounted. Ignore the oil, that's because I had it laying on its side for almost a week. So we have oil dripping all over the floor, coming out the intake. It's fine, I'm gonna change the oil anyway. It's just lubricating the cylinder, you know? Cylinder. This guy's one cylinder. Yeah. But anyway, there's our badass all-terrain tire. Looks really good, I like it. I've decided I'm not gonna change the shock right now. I'll do that at a later date because I'm probably not gonna be able to run with this AirPod with my new shock. And I don't want to do all that work right now. That's a lot of work. I'm lazy. We are feeling pretty lazy. So we're gonna start putting this thing back together right after we get done with the front wheel. We gotta rip this front wheel off and put the new tire on there. We gotta rewrap the seat too. Which ones? There's a lot of black sockets in here. What size bigger? Ah. Quite a bit bigger. What size are we looking at? About five. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Seventeen. Seventeen. This one over here looks way smaller than a seventeen. Yeah, that's one I already had on. Okay. That looks like maybe like a thirteen or something. Twelve. Twelve. Oh, I was close. I was so close. I'm getting dripped on by the water in this headlight or turn signal. That spinning? Uh, maybe, yep. I'll grab a ratchet. Bong. Roll. Third roll down. Hit it. Nope, dig it. Good. Yeah. Back that out. And this is the quickest way to do it. You can put a screwdriver behind here. This is how I've always done it. Or you can use your finger. You just slowly force it out while it's spinning. Works almost every time. And it's off. And now we'll take the brake off. Boom. Yeah, brakes don't look too bad. We're gonna run with them for a little while. Cause I don't feel like changing brakes right now. That tire is so dry rotted, look at that. You can't see it. You can't? Yeah, yeah that one you can't. It looks way That's worse in person. Yes. Let's go ahead and change it. It's even got a dry rot right here too. It's a crappy tire. Yeah. Hope it makes go boom. Did you bring the... I didn't bring any blades this time. I forgot again. Maybe I have mine on my stuff. Oh, got the Milwaukee. These are mine cheap ones Damn. up there. I ain't using your cheap one. I almost cut myself last time. Ready to die? Here we go. That one bad. Don't try this at home. Well, I've got to remove the valve stem anyway, so we're going tube. I don't know, I'm talking about you cut your finger. If you're special, if you're special like Jason, <laughs> you can cut your finger like you did on the back one. <laughs> it was a little, took a little bit of skin off. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> Alright, let's go pop this bad boy off the bead and get the new tire on. Alright, so Richie is doing some zappy zappy in right now, torquing down the fender. Dude, careful, it's plastic. <laughs> uh, that's Colin just whacked him in the neck. <laughs> yeah, watch if you change this. I do what we back at you. It doesn't look bad. We're definitely gonna have to clean it up, polish it a little bit because like the raindrops got to it. Hmm. Trying to remember how the others went. On. It just goes up under there. I think this bends and wraps around underneath, like that. Yeah. Okay. 
Then maybe some flexing need to be done. Gentle. I don't scratch the paint too much. What a crappy paint job I did. Dude, you're scratching the hell out of it. Take that off. No, it's a cup holder. It's got to have the cup holder. I'm pretty sure that... I might have this bottom part on first, because it looks like it clips in there. No, that clips in there. I can see it clips in there. Okay, we're going to figure this out and come back to it. Okay, zap it. That should hold everything pretty much in place. Oh yeah, that looks way more better. Um, that tire looks badass. I love the way that looks. We got our fancy um, scooter holder down here. That's looking pretty good. So we have all of our tires swapped out. We're just putting the plastic on now. We gotta figure out something about the headlight because it's got some damage. Where's that part? It's gone. It's outside. It probably is outside. It's hot. But we're getting there. We are going to get this finished up. Yeah, we're trying to keep the door closed because it's freaking really hot out there. Like oh, yeah, there it is. It's very mangled. I'm gonna see if I can find a new one. He's just that fucking hot. Yes. Alright, that's why he looks like he's going to the beach. Look at my face, I look like I've been to the yeah, you're pretty red. Uh, is it still running? Let's fire it up. Oh, we got lights. You gotta hit the start button. You gotta tap it. Err. Uh -uh. Ah, nope. Yeah, it's not good. I think the battery might be weak. Oh, you get it out. I'm not. Well, we can just charge it up. I spend way too much time getting it in there. I'm not taking it back out. <laughs> that was a pain. Yeah, that was a weird little spot for a battery. But, let's go ahead and try to get this headlight figured out. I'm going to look it up, see if I can find one locally. But, I haven't been able to yet. Time to get on the marketplace. Okay, guys. It's a new day. We already finished up a lot on this build. It turned out pretty good. Let me give you a walk around. Let's do it. Okay, so we got the Hello Kitty right here up in the front. Boom. It makes the kids feel safe. And uh, back here we got our Hello Kitty seat cover. And we got to print out the Deadpool label on the side. Little decals. We're going to put something back here. It's going to look really good on that red. We're going to do something up here. We haven't quite figured it out, but we got a few ideas. And we're probably going to put maybe like a red stripe or something up here to kind of put some red up here. Honestly, it looks pretty good the way it is. But there's a few little things we want to add to it. We still have to put the uh, little necklace I have that has the eye heart. Uh, the little hearts that connect. It's got Deadpool and Wolverine, say best friends. Um, let's go ahead and start this thing up for you. But the exhaust is laying over there, that's why it's loud. But I think it turned out pretty good. I'm happy with the seat. Let's go ahead and pop that seat. There we go. Boom. It actually closes, it works again. We're gonna check the oil before I run it too much. Might even do an oil change on it, wouldn't hurt. I don't think I've ever changed oil on this since I've owned it. I bought it like four years ago. <laughs> yep. Yeah, hit that like button, subscribe on more on the Deadpool moped. And we're gonna have more builds, so keep on keeping it going. All right, see y'all next time.